guys so in the previous video we have completed the create transaction uh, UI but still uh, there's some important feature missing that file upload is not working so that is what we're working in this video so let's uh, create a component to upload the files to uh, S3 and uh, also there is another component to display the file so you can see that i have the file upload component commented out here so let's create that next npm or pn run ng gc for generate component so i would put, put that in uh, components and that would be file upload So let's go to file upload here and let's create the HTML for uh, the file upload model. So let me copy this one, this HTML and explain it to you guys. So we have uh, actually, actually we, uh, we have the mass spinner here. So just import that in app module. What is that? Uh, spinner import not spinner module from yeah actually it's not available so let me see exactly what is the spinner progress spinner so okay progress spinner and import it here that's it and there mat icon also mat icon module import imports yeah exactly so smart and that's it okay so we have some undefined uh, variables here so let's define that okay so we have uploading which is a boolean to monitor if the uploading is in progress so is uploading false and then uh, no we don't need is uploaded but on file select this is the event when you select the file so on file select would it, uh, when the, the user select the file we want to upload it to S3 and also emit the uploaded file to the parent component so we can add it into the transaction so this selected file let's uh, create that also so selected file we're going to file upload so file so we will have the constructor which is the file upload service we need to inject that into private file upload service file upload service oh okay it seems we don't have that file upload service ready so let's create that i remember that we created that before but uh nope okay so let's create a service can run ng gs to generate service services file upload and what goes into this file upload which is kind of simple file upload service where is that services yeah file upload service let's see okay we need to have the upload method and the get file URL method. Okay, so private file API equal no environment API server actually API and files and inject HTTP client HTTP it's a big client, something like that, and also the upload function. 
obviously. Nope, upload. So this will return return an observable a file upload. Observable file upload. Nope, this is not a tag. Okay. So we need to import that. But uh, the form data form data yeah so we're going to post this file to the file API exactly and we pipe and share reply something like that and we need to import this can we do a quick fix here yes exactly and another method which is get the file URL to view so let me let me exactly so we have value response haven't so just import that quick fix and everything is correct now go back to our file upload component of service file upload service exactly okay file upload component then we need to have an event emitter to emit uh, the file when the upload is successful. So we probably need an output here. Output. Uh, yep. No. And on file uploaded. Then new event emitter. Not string, but file upload. And we need to import this quick fix yeah and uh, the main method would be on file upload on file select so this one let's create this so on file select event let me copy this and explain it to you guys line by line so on file select okay this is an event we get this selected file this is single file uploading so if uh, this selected file is is valid is available it's not undefined then we create a form data and append the file so why file because in the backend file controller we have the request param defined here as file so this need to match this tool need to match okay if you decide to give it an another name like image then you need to update this also something like that and we mark this uploading to true then use the file upload service to upload the form data and on response we lock uh, if you want to but uh, yeah not necessary we mark it as for not uploading anymore and file uploaded would emit a response so on the uh, on the app on the on the pattern component we listen to this response and on error also uh, lock the error and uploading to false that's it so let's also add some uh, styling to the file upload component so I want to yeah label crystal pointer so there's a simple trick you can use to hide the file upload and use the label so we have label for this ID here this is hidden this will be hidden okay change let me see yeah also we need to hide the input so well you uh, as you may know that the label the purpose of label that you can uh, label for a field that you can click on the label that would uh, also click on the input so yeah that is a simple trick you can do to, you can have to have this uh, label styling nicely with icon and hide this ugly default file input and we also display the file name here so go back to wallet details and uncomment this 
and we listen to this on file upload add file to transaction and we need to define this function which is i'm going to do next so let's see we add file to the transaction so this is the function and the data would be file upload obviously so if the transaction image uh, array is, is undefined well, then we initiate that with an empty array other than that we push the ID of the file so also import this import nice so we can uh, go back to our application and see that we have the file uh, uploading here so let's buy some movie ticket movie ticket 100 i don't know entertainment okay and obviously that is withdraw and we select the file to upload so let me quickly movie tickets image let's oh let's try this save image as webp oh we have webp but i don't like it i want to png or something save image as okay movie tickets download and where is our app okay so we select the file and go to download movie tickets here and you see the uploading is working nice so we have the file uploaded then create the transaction and we have the buy movie ticket here but the image where is it because we haven't uh, create, created a component to display it then let's go back to our app and create that component which let me see this is the file view okay or image view what do uh whatever you need so i'm going to image view okay no this is not a service see component so image view simple like that and here it is here is our file so let's see what do we have here so in this component we need to load the image id because that would be an input from the parent component so let's define an input here image id right we input quick fix yeah and also we need to have when the image is loaded we need to have the image url obviously and we need the file upload service constructor file upload service private file upload service file upload service okay interesting and we will listen to uh, the this this image id using ng on changes okay so this is a nice uh, hook you can use to to listen to the change of the input values i'm going to copy this ng on changes okay so we have uh, this method listen to simple changes let's quick fix okay so need to have is loading nice so what does it do so if changes with an image id is valid then this is the image id so when the change then obviously we have the valid image id input or you can use the change here so let me console.log change current value yeah 
so actually the change current value is the image ID yeah and then we fetch use the fireball service to get the fire URL and on success we assign this to the response value and turn off the loading so that is it that is the plan so go back to our app and see if we can see the image actually we need to reload this or something okay wow ah, okay we need to uncomment this this is not a five view anymore it's an image view image view okay so this is quite simple so we loop through every images in the transaction and put that into an app image view here with the image id equal image so that is quite simple so image view works because we haven't uh, created the ui for image view so let's create the ui so we would have a spinner here so if loading is loading then we display this spinner and else we have image view this which is uh, quite simple I also add some styling to make the image not too large okay so 100% 100 pixel pixel okay so go back to app and sure enough you see that we have the image here so that is guys that is how we uh, create an angular and web app with uh, spring boot backend with angular ui so this is a complete app you can use to track your expense of course there are some missing functionalities like editing wallets and uh, editing transactions but i will leave that to you guys to improve this further so i'm going to uh, create a deployment and put it put this up on the server which uh, i'm going to do next so see you guys in the next video